guys hi friends welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome so today I have something completely different in store for you guys that I am really excited about it's not makeup but I wanted to integrate a lot more stuff into my channel and see how you guys like it please let me know your feedback down below if you enjoy this type of content I would love to hear what you guys have to say but today we are gonna be making these cutie adorable little cake pops that I am so excited for. Not only are they so cute, but they're absolutely delicious and they are sure to be a hit at any holiday party, Christmas bake sale, whatever you guys have going on this holiday season. And we could all use a little cutie cake pop in Christmas 2020 because it's been 2020. You guys know what I mean. So this is just a list of things that you guys are going to need. This is so, so simple and easy to make. It's also a really fun activity to do with your kids if you wanted to do that. So here's our list. You're more than welcome to screenshot it. And you guys are going to need Oreos, cream cheese, dark white milk chocolate, whatever your preferences are. I, for this video, am using milk and white chocolate uh, just because those are, those are the preferences. And you're gonna need some stuff to decorate as well. So some coconut sprinkles, little icings or food coloring, whatever you guys prefer. And yeah, without further ado, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up for me. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, turn on those notification bells, and let's hop right into this tutorial. Okay guys, so we're going to start off with our packet of Oreos, just throwing those into a blender or a food processor. If you don't have either of those things, you can throw them into a large plastic bag and mash them with a roller. It should look something like this. The next step guys is to be adding our Philadelphia cream cheese and we're just going to be adding this gradually and mixing it. You want to keep it around half or three quarters of your container of cream cheese per packet of Oreos. You're going to mix that until you cannot see the cream cheese anymore. You can gradually add as you need, but you want little chunky balls of Oreo mush, kind of. Now we're just going to create a little dough ball and stick this in the fridge overnight or in your freezer for at least six hours. It's a very important that this stays extremely cold. It's very important when melting your chocolate to be sure not to burn it. It does burn very easily. I recommend 30 second increments in the microwave with a lot of mixing. And you also wanna make sure that you are using the proper kind of chocolate because if you use the wrong kind, it will not set properly. Our next step guys is to portion out that dough. You wanna be making as many one ounce balls as you would like and an equal amount of eight ounce and three ounce balls. Now we're gonna be taking our lollipop sticks or our straws, whatever you guys have, dipping those into chocolate and inserting them into our portioned out dough. You wanna be placing the eight ounce right below the three ounce and just sticking that all the way straight through. You can run your finger across to get that extra chocolate off. And for the one ounce balls, you guys can just stick that right on through. Y'all can repeat this process as many times as you would like and using the chocolates appropriate for the characters you intend on making. Now we're gonna be completely coating our cake pops, guys, and the only really important thing is to obviously use the same type of chocolate that you used to dip your stick with. You also want to shake off any excess chocolate the best you can and then just place that straight down onto your foil or baking paper. Thank you. 
Before your chocolate has dried, you wanna just scrape off the bottom of those very carefully. I like to go in a circular motion so that the bottom is very tucked and tidy. When my snowmen are around 50% dry, I'm gonna be dipping them into coconut. If you don't like coconut, you obviously can skip this step. I just think it gives it a really cute snowflake effect. Now for the decorating, I'm gonna be using these cutie little icing packs, but you guys can use white chocolate and food coloring if you like. With my orange icing, I'm gonna be creating a little carrot nose and some arms on my snowmen. And then with my black icing, I'm just gonna be creating two little coal eyes and some buttons down its cutie little belly. For my penguins, I am just gonna be taking my silver icing and I'm gonna be creating a little round shape, two of them, one on its head and one on its belly, and I'm gonna be filling that all the way in. You guys can also do this using white chocolate. With my orange icing, I'm gonna be creating a cutie little beak and some flippers. And just creating his eyes with my black icing. You guys can also dip your penguins in coconut before you add all of the details for this cutie little white belly. Next for the Christmas ornaments, so you guys can do literally anything you want. You can add sprinkles, you can just do any sort of design, but I'm just keeping it really simple. I'm doing some loop-de-loops and some line work. Not the best, but they're just cute. This is a really good thing to do with the kids too. You can leave them in charge of the ornaments if you guys wanna handle the characters. And I'm just repeating that with my dark chocolate. And here they are guys, so simple, so cute, so easy, so delicious. Okay guys, so that is it. That is all it takes to make these really just adorable, delicious, cutie little cake pops. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this content. I do have some really exciting stuff coming up within the next few weeks. We're gonna be doing some giveaways. We're gonna be doing some really fun Christmas stuff and some really exciting makeup looks that I'm just, I'm so stoked for. So to make sure that you don't miss out on any of that, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bells. And I cannot wait to hang out with you guys next time. Bye.